Welcome back once again. So, well, with this, we are going to be moving on with our first guest here in the studio with a very, very interesting discussion. So, earlier on in the program, we were speaking about uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, about people embarking on to new careers, taking on to new jobs, and as well as the ones who really do have the courage to be uh, starting up their own businesses. But then again, with all these different SMEs and with all those young people who are involved in it, they are actually creating jobs. So there would be a lot of the young people who are going to be taking on to these jobs as well. Now, what is the right approach when you are starting up a job or are working on starting a new job is what we are going to be speaking about in today's uh, edition of the Saudi Morning Show. So while well, joining us here in the program is Mr. Mohammed Zahir. He's a management consultant and he is going to be talking about how it is that people could get themselves ready for their future jobs. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you. Alaikum assalam. Good morning to you and good morning to all your audience. Yeah. Thank you very thank much, you for Mr. Mohammed, for joining yeah, us. Sir. Thank you very much. So Mr. now, the subject that we are going to be speaking about is just so very, very important, especially when we speak in light of the National Transformation Plan 2020 mm -hmm. and as well as uh, eventually the Vision 2030 as well. It is all about making the youth productive in order to be able to help the country and the kingdom evolve furthermore. So uh, tell us as to how it is that uh, first people before we even think about the job as to how it is that they can choose their career path while they are still in the academic years. Yes, well, this is great. I actually, I think it's, it's even before they start the academic studying, I think they need to start uh, before selecting what kind of, of uh, what are they going to study. So um, um, it's like you need to know yourself more, you need to know what's available more, and then you can put this together and come up with what you really want to do in, in, in life. So um, uh, families need to encourage their children to think about um, what do we like, what do we want to do, and how do we want to achieve it. Um, and it starts with what do I like to play with, what do I like to do in, in my spare time, um, and then all the way to what do I like to read, what do I like to do, and um, am I an active person who likes being with people, am I a person who likes to be in a room with my computer searching. This will pretty much help um, uh, the, the family to decide which path this um, uh, student is going to do. Oh, they usually yeah. say, real life start after school. Yeah. Tough <laughs> life start after university. Yes. So, <laughs> we all graduate from university. Okay, what's happening next? How we prepare your, ourselves for our job? What do... Yeah. Or you feel lost as a student after graduation. You feel, what should I do now with my life? Yes. So, what yes. do you suggest for people who are hunting jobs and they really want to start something solid? Yes. We need to understand that there is and there will be all the time a gap between the academic study and what's there in real life and what are the requirements of the job market. So once you understand this, then you need to prepare yourself to fill this gap. Okay. So in my, while, while, do, while studying in your four years, this is pretty much long time to be only for studying. You need to start five, probably yeah. oh five sometimes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So you need to start training if you have a chance, go into companies, uh, talk to professionals, mm. see what do they do and, and see what do you want, how much is this um, likely to be your career, how much do you want to do of this, talk to, get a mentor, talk to somebody who knows what's available in the market, who can give you guide, guidelines, what to, wh how can you prepare yourself. Um, um, mm. Having a job requires knowledge, skills and attitude. It's like so being realistic to see what's exactly. going on in the country or in the city or in the market job or yeah. job marketing yes. Yes. and to search in the companies. Visit some companies just for sake of asking. Visit companies. Searching. Get get some training if you if you training. can. Yeah, if you can if you can do some three four hours work in a day. Many of the companies I'm I'm here for for some time now and I know that they will be welcoming to have a student who who wants to be in. Uh, on the job training for a couple, three hours every day or, or two days a week, three because days a week. Mohammed, as volunteering, for example? As volunteering, yes. Actually, you're gaining knowledge, and this is very important for you. This is what yeah, you want. Experience. You're getting you're getting the skill, because you will never get the skill from the university. Never. University will give you the knowledge, but that's not enough. You need to check 
Are you really able to do you it? You need to make your hand dirty. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, need, you need to get down to the field. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So this exactly. is the best way of finding the right job, by being in the yes. companies. And then you decide if you want to stay in this field or not. Yes. So then when you have four or five years of university, you have time to try this, try that, see what you really like, see which field is important for you. Maybe do some search. What are the most popular jobs in, in the region, in your country, in the world now? For example, like 10 years back, I never heard of a data scientist. Now it's one of the highest paid jobs in the world. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, um, so this needs somebody who is uh, exposing himself to companies and checking what are the real requirements of the market where he wants to penetrate. And then getting himself ready. And the best thing about the way you say the method you're suggesting, if the person in the university is not convinced with his study and he went to the real life, at least trying several companies and say, is this my bath or not? Yes. And then you have the, 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 the um, uh, luxury of choosing when you're still a student, when you can yeah, do... You have time. Yes. When you, you can do a couple of months here, a couple of months there, and then you will be able to really test yourself. What do I like? How do I like uh, to do it? And, and uh, where can I see myself for the next five years? Do I really want to do this job? Am I really an accountant? Will I be working with numbers all my life? You're absolutely right, because she yeah. is now a presenter. She want to be a pilot in the future. She told yeah, me. Okay. So you're going to go <laughs> 10 countries each year. You told me about your plan for the five years. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going to be a pilot, it will take you more than 10 countries in a year. Yeah. No, I was actually... Oh, see? <laughs> yeah. see, this is good. <laughs> no, well, 10 countries a year was uh, to be flying with a pilot. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Not you <laughs> flying them. <laughs> okay. Indeed. But, uh, well, uh, with this, uh, Mr. Mohammed, now, uh, getting back uh, with the people, especially, like, you know, the young people, once they are uh, graduating mm -hmm. and... Uh, getting out of uh, their institutions to look for a job, even mm -hmm. as a part-time job or as an internship, or uh, perhaps just to acquire some on-job training. How is it that they can possibly choose their future employers? Because sometimes uh, we are not setting realistic goals for ourselves. Sometimes, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. we uh, think that we can uh, urge and push ourselves uh, into mm -hmm. a work climate, which perhaps maybe would be too challenging for us, or maybe is not going to be so much our cup of coffee. So maybe the two of us graduated with the same majors, but I have more of a fun spirit. Mm -hmm. He has more of a serious spirit, let's say, so he could get along well in this kind of a work environment mm -hmm. where I would really really need to compromise on my personality maybe mm -hmm. compromise on a lot of the things I'm passionate about and then give into this job so yes. how it is that people choose their future employers well after after you know what do you want to do and where where are your target jobs then now start selecting where do I want to work which company on what basis will I choose is it only money do I want to look for the highest paid job uh, well, money is important, I understand, and I cannot say it's not, but in the early stages where you're just starting your career, you should not consider money very much because... Yeah, it's still early. Because n not because it's too early. Maybe you need more money when it's too early, but the thing is you need now experience. You, mm, let's say something that guarantees a paycheck at the end of every month. It's not, it's not that I get now higher money, but It's about but the value of the person in the, in the working or job market. Yes, so yes, if exactly. If he's a new, I don't think he's going to value that much because they have zero experience. Yes, so then he needs to go into a place that will give him valuable experience, that will be very good on a CV. It will look good on, on, on uh, uh, his profile. Mm -hmm. It will give him a real-time experience. It will give him proper training. Some companies where they are thinking much about how to develop their employees. This is the right target for, for a fresher. I want to go there. I want people to invest in me. Because this, I cannot buy this outside. So even if you go to a, a, a high-paid job, but they don't educate you, they don't give you a proper training, then you will need to pay this money outside to invest in yourself. But going in the right company will give you both of them. So you need to think about your career plan. What do you want to do in the future? How can you develop what you have? And this is more important than money in the early stages because this, this is your tool that will guarantee the money later on. Yeah, and again, you need to still work on your self-awareness, increase your self-awareness, because this is what gives you insight. What do I really want to do? And, and um, do I have chance to innovate, to do something new here? You need to really know yourself. There's a, a very interesting model called, uh, called the Juhari window. It's by, done by John and Harry, two scientists. Okay, we're going to stop in this theory. Yeah. Harry, 
Joe Harry. Joe Harry. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with Joe Harry. He's a good friend of mine. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to go for this report. And Mr. Mohammed is going to be with us here in the house. Don't go anywhere because we've got a lot to speak about. Let's see this report. <laughs> Once again, so you're still tuned uh, to Saudi Now, and in Saudi Now, currently we are speaking about a very interesting subject, which is how it is that the young ones could possibly get prepared for their future jobs, and what are the targets it is that they have set for themselves, and how it is that they could possibly accomplish them by taking the very first step and embarking on to their first job. Joining us here in the studio is Mr. Mohammed Zahir. He's a management consultant, and he has been speaking to us in a very eloquent way about this subject of discussion, which is handpicked for the day. So, uh, Mr. Mohammed, welcome back onto the program. Thank you. And uh, as you were speaking about how it is that people could be uh, possibly uh, uh, choosing their future employers as well as their jobs yes. now tell us as to how it is that people can possibly choose a company to begin with for instance like you know there are companies which have certain kind of goals certain kind of strategies there are some companies where you could be really having a very very valuable job a very wholesome job a company which is going to be a heavyweight company that is going to be uh, a great highlight on your resume as well mm -hmm. but they have certain kind of policies even for the people who are coming in on an initial basis such as even to do an internship so how important is it to educate ourselves about the companies that we are applying to? And yes. yeah, don't forget about what her name, Melissa John Hart, or, or the person you're talking uh, Joe about. Joe Harry, we'll, we'll yeah, talk, she's welcome Sabrina, to the teenage Yeah, woman, okay. John <laughs> Harry. So yeah, we need you to even, uh, according to Simon, to complete what we stopped. Please go ahead. Yeah. So, so I go on with the yeah, Joe Harry first. Yeah, Joe and Harry, okay. please go with him and okay. uh, He never show up. Please All right, <laughs> all right. Now, Joe Harry is actually, th there are two people, there are no one. Joan and Harry, the, the two Joan of them Harry. together, they prevented, th they invented this uh, model and the model says that you as a person can be divided into four quadrants if you think of what you know about yourself and what you don't know about yourself 
what others know about you and what others don't know about you, then mix this together, you will get first quadrant, which is the best area, what you know about yourself and what people know about you. About you. And this is what you want to increase by time. As much, the more you know about yourself. And people knows about you. Yes, being Those open, two. being open to, to, to people. This will give you a real uh, self-awareness. So you know what you are, you know what you want, you know your directions, you know what to choose. The more you increase this quadrant. And why it's also good to, that people know about you because you're open, so everybody can expect you. Everybody knows you, uh, w what you are, and they can, when they think with you, they give you the right directions. Oh, okay. Now, to increase this, you need to decrease the other quadrants. So think now about what you know about yourself, but people don't know about you. This is also a quadrant. It's a window, so you want to make this bigger, you have to... Limit make this, this smaller. It's it's exactly whatever you take from here will be added to the so other quadrant. So we can say, Mr. Muhammad, knowing about yourself, people knowing about you is something positive. But yes. vice versa, to that you don't know and people don't know. This then is you not need a good to thing. decrease it. There's one quadrant where people know about you and you don't know about yourself. So it's very important for you to get this knowledge, to move this into what you know and people know. And how can we do this? By talking to people, by getting feedback accepting criticism talk to people this is very important in companies communication huh yes in companies for example we pay lots of um, uh, of money lots of to money. get yes to get feedback it's the auditing system it's whole established just because we want a feedback we want somebody to tell us where your system leakage is so if i can get this for free so please do take this put it into the other quadrant where you know about yourself and people know about you and this will help you much and uh, there, there's other parts where you don't know about yourself and people don't know about you as yeah. well. And this is very important. I think you mentioned today um, about Biban. It's a wonderful, was wonderful Biban, place, yeah. a beautiful place. You need, to, you need to try something new. You need to go into things that you have never done before. And then you will discover things about you that you never knew before. So leaving your and comfort zone, you, know. you mean? Yes, exactly. To know what's going so, on in life. Yeah. Yes. Try something that don't be afraid to try something new because this will give you insight. It will give you information, the most valuable information I can say about yourself. Uh, this is what you want to build for the, the comfort zone. I have a very interesting question. We've been all through it in life. Yeah. We all want to be a superstar. We always want to be in movies. But what's mm -hmm. going on? Reality bites. Yes. So what about the daydreamers? <laughs> the people who graduate from you know university and they have lots of full of ambition and they have unrealistic dreams. Yes. What do you think about this? This is a yeah. very psychology matter in the brain. What, what I think, and this is very, very important point, what, what, you, what are your dreams and what you really want in life? Because there's difference between this. When, when you're walking on the street and then you see 10 cars and you like them and you say, oh, it, it would be nice to have them. Well, this is a, a wish, but are you really, is the, do you really want this? No, you don't. Oh, it's just wishing. So it, it's just saying, oh, it's nice to have. Yes, it is nice to have. But what you really want is what you have plans to do. And this is the important thing. If you want something, I can guarantee you 100% that you will get it. But only if you work towards it. When you have a plan and you want to do it, you will do it. For sure you will. But if you really want it and you need to understand the differences between the two of them, it's nice to have lots of things. But what you really want is what you work towards. If you have enough push-up inside, inside you, that I want to plan to do this, even if it will take 10 years, at the end you will get it. But if you just say, okay, I wish so, that's not enough, you will not get it, and actually you don't really want it. So for, forget it, this is just a, a daydream as you call it, and it's nothing. Go after what you really want in life, and have plans to do it. And the measure between me and myself, this is how I know it. If I have, okay, what, what can I do to make this happen? If this question comes to me and I have answers and I start to take some steps, even if it's like one step over 100, one, one million uh, steps, then you're on the way. Then you really want it. But if you never ask yourself, how will I do this? Then it's, it's, it's not what you really want. It's like want you say, I want a, a beautiful house and car and sleep. Yes. And that's it. And you're yes. never having a plan for this and you're not yeah. doing anything about it. Yeah. There's uh, what is called, once a, a, a Spanish trainer, he told us that there is something called the motherhood solutions. Motherhood. When you, motherhood solutions. So okay. when you talk to anybody on earth, what do you think of motherhood? They will always talk positive, yeah. always. But then, where are the real problem is? It, it, you're, you're far away from it. So when, when we, in a company, when we're thinking about, you know what, we need more communication training. Yes, everybody needs more communication training, but what is the real problem?
Where is, did you do enough analysis to come to the real problem? So don't think about just it's nice to have. Think about what can I do to make this happen? What do you really want? And then you're on, on, on your way. This is uh, what will take you where you want to be. Like it. Yeah. Good. So it's just not important to have uh, a desire, but it's really, really important to uh, drive your desire to where it is that you want to be. Yes. Now, uh, with this, uh, Mr. Mohammed, uh, as uh, we were speaking about, the companies and as I was asking you as to how it is that people can choose now mm -hmm. there are some places that really really are uh, the top of the line places that call for extreme work ethics mm -hmm. now some of the people who are just starting up in life how important it is for them to uh, have the determination to prove themselves not to just take it uh, in a slight manner that okay it's just an internship it's not my paid job how important it is for them to execute themselves the right way yes um, um, I read a very interesting book called managers 3.0 and it's it's t talking about Millennials and the difference between Millennials and the X generation or generation X so um, and one of the major things is when you're thinking about Millennials uh, they have been taught all the time by their parents and by everybody around them that you are special. You can go to places. And um, the, the example in the book, even Lady Gaga told them that you are special in one of the... Uh, of she the said song. in her uh, speech with the people, yes, yeah. everybody uh, is individual in his own way. And that's why yes. I'm an alien or yeah. a master. <laughs> Something like this, she said. She's proud of her, her weirdness. Yes. And this is very true. The, the, the idea is you are special and this culture is very much into the millennials. This is how everybody thinks. Like for example, my parents used to tell me that try to work hard, do everything possible to be a normal person to be a regular person to but regular I'm, person. I'm not saying this to my children it's different from my generation unique, different. yes exactly yeah. now everybody's saying that no you are special you can do something that nobody now you can think of uh, Zuckerberg you can think of many people who who became millionaires while they were still under 30 so this is the, the driver this is what I want to say if you are a person who is starting your life and you believe you are special don't accept to be mediocre don't accept to be the normal person at the corner. You have to show that you are special. Okay, about being special. People love to be special in their wallet. You have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> so please tell us about how you do about many matters in jobs, because I'm sure you want a fat, big, beautiful wallet in your life. Yeah. But this is not, of course, it's not coming by one day. So what do you suggest? <laughs> yes, what, what I'm saying is in the beginning, this is not th the number one priority. You need to prioritize what you want, what you want to achieve. And what we get from work, we get many things. Prioritize them. Number one is not the money when you are still a fresher, when you are starting. You need to think about the corporate culture, as, as you were just talking now. It's very important to get yourself into a matured kind of organization where they think the corporate culture is important, where we think that our employees are our main asset, and where we think that we want to develop these guys and we want to have them with us for a long time, yeah. where, where, where they, they want to encourage your empl their employees to innovate. This is the kind of culture that you want to be in. This is number one priority. And I would take this and give away money if this is what it takes So money come with the time, but experience yes. have to work for. Yes, well, exactly. Okay, he's special. He got opinion and he got a lot to share with us. Well, thank you so much for Mr. Mohammed Zahir. He's a thank management you. consultant and he don't like the comfort zones. Thank you so much for <laughs> being you. here. Thank you very and much for having me. And good morning and happy new year with the 1439 Hijra Inshallah. Thank you, thank you. Same okay, to you. And don't forget to celebrate the national day and take your family. Oh, yeah, yeah we'll do. <laughs> and uh, take us with you from the comfort zone. That's what we're going to do. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go for a short break. We'll come back to your me on Saima and there is a more we're going to speak about.